Um, so we also need a, another uh, prefab for our obstacles that we're going to be dodging in the game. So if we go to our graphics, we're going to use a rainbow for these obstacles. So let's go ahead and create a game object. Call it rainbow. Set it to zero, zero, zero. And now we're going to use a sprite as well. So we're going to change this to a sprite. Click apply. And then we're going to create two of these, or two in the same uh, x, x uh, axis, so that they're on top of each other pretty much. Let's move that to zero. We'll call this the bottom. And then copy it. Call it to top. And let's make these somewhat bigger. Two by two. So we're going to drag one of these slightly down. And we're going to drag another one up. And we're going to leave a gap in the between them. And the idea that we're going to use is that we're going to adjust it this way or this way to position the gap in the game which means we need to make these slightly longer on the Y. So let's go with three and three. three. So let's drag bottom one down, top one up. And Let's take the top, shift it down a little bit, so that should be our gap. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up and down like that for our boundary. So you can set that to zero. Let's get some slightly easier numbers to work with. Uh, three, oh. Negative three, positive three. Five, so four. All right, so 4.5 and 4.5. There we go. Okay, so that's our rainbow. And then we're going to prefab this as well. We can delete that from the scene. And you can go ahead and save your scene so that you don't lose any of your prefabs. Um, we're also going to need a ground that we're going to travel over. And the ground is also going to be a sprite. So let's go ahead and create a sprite. Call it ground or ground. And we need one more. Call it grass. Then We'll make an empty game object to parent these two. Step four. Drag these two components into it. And we're going to turn our ground and our grass into sprites as well. And then click apply. Sprite. Okay, so then drag into the two the ground should be underneath the grass make sure that this thing is set to zero 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 so we can position everything properly all 
Alright, so we can drag the grass up a little bit. It should sit right on top of it. Like so. so. You can set it to negative one so the grass is behind the ground. And it's going to look something like this in game. And that's going to be our floor. We can prefab this as well. Uh, the next thing we need to make is our uh, sky. So let's go ahead and just create a sprite. Call it the sky. And for now, we're just going to use the night. So change this into a sprite. And then apply. Drag night into the sprite area. Position this at zero, zero, zero. And then let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, let's do that zero. We can prefab this. Alright, uh, that's going to be it for this video, and uh, come back for the next one. Thanks.